she from the west side. What's up y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree and if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. Today is Wednesday, February the 1st, which is like crazy to say that we are in February because I feel like January went really fast. I don't know about you all, but January went really fast for me. And so today is Wednesday. I thought I introduced this vlog on Monday, however... I forgot to hit record so the whole time that I was like holding my camera I thought I was vlogging but I wasn't I'm introducing this vlog now even though I thought I introduced it I did an introduction on Monday on Monday I did go to the coffee shop and got a few things done as you all saw as I was saying I did go to a coffee shop on Monday to get a few things done to edit a YouTube video and to work on a job application so I would just went to the coffee shop and try to get some work done and then after that just came home chilled out and did some more work so that was my Monday and then yesterday I yesterday was a blur yesterday I was in my room literally sitting here answering emails and doing some more planning for the month of February. Um, I did not feel like vlogging yesterday. I just wasn't in the mood. So here we are. Today's Wednesday. And my goal is to be as productive as possible on the first month, on the first day of the new month. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the gym and then I'm going to come back home get dressed and head out to go to the coffee shop again to get some more work done and yeah so that's kind of what I have planned for today pretty chill just gonna try to do as much as I need to get done today work on my job application and try to finish that and do some work on the computer and prepare to start my job next week so that is what's going on and yeah let me go ahead and get going go to this gym i'll talk with you all after the gym because i already know it's gonna be hectic so let me get going all right y'all i am dressed and headed out to go to a coffee shop to work on a job application that's going to be due on friday try my best to finish it today and then, yeah, I'm going to probably be at the coffee shop until it closes. It closes at 3 p.m. This particular coffee shop is the same coffee shop that I went to on Monday. And it's absolutely one of my favorite coffee shops. Like, I absolutely love that place. Like, I love this place. But, yeah, I am headed there now. And I'm just going to do my best to get as much done as possible. Also, please excuse my headscarf. I'm laying down my edges, chow. And, yeah. I also want to say thank you all so much for all the encouragement and just all the sweet comments on my grads, my life after grad school episode two video last week, y'all. And I was struggling. And a little update: I did get my situation with my pay straightened up. And second, I did. Um, what else happened? I did hear from my job and I'm going to be doing, I'm going to basically start work next week. So that's a good thing. No, I haven't started work yet, but I'm starting work next week, which is honestly a good thing. So I just wanted to say thank you all for like the sweet comments and encouragement and being really concerned, but everything's good. Well, that was last week. This is a new week and I'm feeling good. And yeah, things are out of my hand, but you know what? It's, it's part of life and we're just going to be patient and wait on God's timing, period. So that's that with that. Moving forward and 
we just going to keep on keep on pushing. AK, my friend sent uh my friend Brenda, shout out to her in our group text. She was like uh with Nemo like keep on swimming. Honey, we going to keep on swimming because yeah, life life will tear you down if you let it, but we not going to have that. So, yeah, keep on swimming y'all. Keep on swimming. I'm going to go ahead and uh, focus on the road, drive to the coffee shop, get some work done, and see what else I'm going to get into later on today. Probably not much, but Married at First Sight comes on because it's Wednesday, and I'm for sure watching that. So, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> y'all I'm back home from the coffee shop I got a lot of work done I have one more question to answer for the supplemental question on the application that I'm applying for and so I'm gonna go ahead and make me a little snack I'm kind of craving some popcorn so I'll probably eat that and then just try to do my best and finish up the questions. And then I might sign up for a Pilates class. I'm thinking about going to, I think it's called Club Pilates. So I think I'm gonna try a Pilates class on Friday. So I'm gonna sign up for that, I think today. Also do a little more budgeting for the month of February. So that's what's going on. <laughs> Today's Thursday, it's much later in the day, and I just got back from the gym. Um, I'm glad I went to the gym. I'm literally pushing myself to go to the gym even when I don't want to. And I did the 12 through 30 challenge because I'm still doing that, and then I did the Stairmaster. And y'all, that Stairmaster, it be coming for me. It be coming for me. I really be like, oh my God, <laughs> legs be shaking. I was like, I really need to work on that. But yeah, I did, at least I did the stair pass. Today has been pretty much like a slow day. I haven't really done much today. That's why I have, I'm just now turning on the camera because I'm pretty sure y'all tired of me just sitting at my desk working. But that's what I was doing today. Literally yesterday, I did work on my application a little bit. I was working on the last question and I was like very frustrated. So I just stopped, <laughs> ate dinner, and then I watched Married at First Sight, the new episode. And I don't know if you guys watch Married at First Sight, but I love that show. But the past, I would say four seasons of Married at First Sight, I just feel like people go on there just to just to be on TV. Like I feel like it's not really authentic and people are not going on Married at, Married at First Sight for the right reasons and you can just tell. And then also the experts, I feel like they're doing a really bad job of like, you know, connecting people with the right people. I don't know, or matching people with the right people. So, mm, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. But I still watch it because it's just very intriguing. Then. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I booked a Pilates class. Am I a Pilates girl? <laughs> I booked a introduction Pilates class for tomorrow at 12.30 at Club Pilates. So I'm super excited and it's, um, the intro class is 30 minutes. Yeah, that's what's going on y'all. Nothing much, but I'm proud of myself for, you know, pushing myself to go work out. I'm proud of myself for booking a Pilates class. <laughs> Show y'all what book I am currently reading. I've been wanting to read this book all last year, but because grad school was, it was my last year of grad school, it was a lot going on last year. I have I didn't have time to like read any books really, but finally, now that, now that I'm done with school, I have time to read. So I got this book 
Holier Than Thou by Jackie Hill Perry. She's a Christian author, poet, Bible teacher. She's incredible. And I've been following her on Instagram and been listening to her podcast with her husband. It's called 30 Minute with the Perrys. And I just love it, y'all. I really, really enjoy her podcast and her perspective and um I remember two years ago I watched her testimony on YouTube and I was like Ooh. that's powerful that's powerful and y'all I just read the um I just read the foreword by Charlie Dates he's a Baptist preacher in Chicago love him and um, I read the foreword and I read the introduction chapter and I'm like I want to highlight the whole thing it's so good so this is amazing. This is my current read. And my goal is to read a book, to read one book once a month. I just want to complete a book once a month. And I think for me, that's a great attainable goal because I feel like I just don't read enough. And then, of course, like, you know, reading my Bible and, you know, doing my devotionals and talking to the Lord every day. So I'm really just like, I'm trying to be disciplined and consistent in all areas of my life and so I didn't want to go to the gym today but I got up went to the gym <laughs> so I'm really pushing myself to make small changes small habits to you know to be consistent I'm really proud of myself from pushing myself out of a funk this week because last week was a struggle as y'all saw in the previous video and again thank you all for the sweet comments encouragement in the lot in my last video like reading y'all comments I'm like oh you guys are so sweet <laughs> so I really appreciate it and yeah sometimes I have to be encouraged because you know I be going through it y'all I be going through it and I've been through a lot but that's life you're always going to be going through things but yeah last week was tough and this week I was like you know what I can't allow my circumstances to pack my mood I can't change the outcome of what happens to me but I can change my attitude I change my attitude I get I cast all my anxieties and stresses at, at God's feet and I said look God I'm giving it all to you to take care of and I'm just like I'm not going to stress about you know things that I have no control over and so yeah that's what I did and I feel like this week was a lot a lot better that's enough of me talking I've been talking too much I've been talking too much but I'm gonna go ahead take a shower get my life together and go from there so I'll talk with y'all later today's Friday and it's pretty gloomy today it actually started raining um early this morning so it's like it's been raining for a few hours so it's a little gloomy and rainy day I woke up this morning and I went to Mel's diner with my parents and then here I am parked in the parking lot about to go into my first introduction class to Pilates my class starts at 12 30 it's currently 12 p.m on the dot right now but yeah i'm probably gonna go inside at 12 10 so that i'll give me time to like just get situated and i have to buy grip socks for um for the class excited i might be the only black person in there <laughs> Woo! most likely will be the only black person i promise you that promise
what's up y'all it's saturday and i just got done working out at home downstairs um it was a really good workout i did a cardio hit workout and then i did 10 minutes of abs um workout and i really struggle with abs y'all like my core is so weak and i'm so glad i'm doing pilates because <laughs> I'm so glad I signed up for Pilates because my core, baby, is is not popping. It's not it's not good. So I really need to strengthen my core. And speaking of Pilates, I totally forgot to let you all know how it went for me yesterday. Honestly, y'all, Pilates was really great yesterday, and it wasn't. I didn't do a full class. A full class is 50 minutes. However when you sign up for the introduction class for club pilates you do it's only 30 minutes for the introduction class so basically the instructor is just showing you how to use the equipment like the reformer and then the different like um just a different a common equipment that you're going to be using when you do pilates and then just like different movements and stuff. And so that's what the instructor showed me yesterday. I was in a class with two other people. So the introduction class was not crowded at all. It was just me and two other uh, ladies. And so the instructor was really nice. And even the staff at Club Pilates were so sweet. The instructor was really nice. She introduced herself and then she asked us what our name was and like if we had any injuries and what are some of our goals you know for you know for doing pilates for me is like strengthening my core and you know getting more flexible and honestly just all the benefits that pilates can offer i want i want all those benefits so yeah those are some i told her those are some of my goals for pilates and yeah overall it went really well um, I really like the reformer a lot. She said that I do have good form, so that made me feel good. I was like, ooh, I have good form. And so I felt like it was really, like, really fun. I just felt like really fun, and it was different from what I usually do, which is just, like, the common, like, treadmill and, you know, hit workouts and CrossFit I have done before. I have also done you know, weightlifting, you know, I do weightlifting, but I don't do lifting as much anymore because like my schedule just doesn't work out with my coach schedule in terms of like working out. Um, and so, yeah, I'm kind of leaning more into, you know, this low impact, but then they do have classes where it's a little more cardio focused and I'm definitely going to try that. After the introduction class, one of the Club Pilates, uh, workers came to all of us and gave us a pamphlet and it looked like this and in the pamphlet it has all the different levels right here and then the different classes that they offer so they have classes like cardio scope they have um reformer flow and that's something that I did yesterday because I couldn't record. So these are some of the movements. I didn't do that movement, by the way. But these are, this was one movement that I did. I didn't do that. <laughs> but yeah, these are some common movements that you'll be doing in Pilates. And then, of course, these are the different uh, classes that they offer. So that was really, that was really cool. And I love how they have this little pamphlet where it show where it tells you like the different levels and then the different classes that they offer along with their schedule so that's what the lady gave us after the class is over so since i enjoyed the introduction class i decided to go ahead and sign up for a monthly membership and the monthly membership that i chose was the four class option because i wanted to see if I was going to be committed to this. I didn't want to sign up for the eight class monthly membership or the unlimited package because I wanted to make sure that I'm actually going to go and be consistent because I know myself. So I really wanted to test out like just doing four classes this month to see how it goes and see how I like it. And if I really like it, then I'm going to bump it up to the eight class membership monthly membership and I probably will stick with that for 
two or three months and then if I really really enjoy Pilates and start seeing results from it then I'll bump it up to the unlimited but until then I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with the four class monthly membership this month to see how it goes with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button I will greatly appreciate it and I will see y'all in the next one bye Thank you.